Hey, Rene Garcia with Games Gear Tech, and today we are taking a look at products from V7. V7 is a consumer and enterprise electronics manufacturer. They make things like monitors, mice, mounting arms, and a variety of accessories like USB drives, power banks, and more. The first product we're going to take a look at is the L238DPH monitor, which features a 23.8 inch screen, a 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution, a 60 hertz refresh rate, and a number of other features. But before we get into those, let's take a look at what comes in the box. In the box, you will find a power cable an audio cable, because this monitor does have two built-in speakers, which we'll go into later, and a VGA cable as well. But just to make my life easier, I will be using a spare HDMI cable that I have lying around. Also in the box is this cable management bracket that does not come pre-installed. You do have to install it before you install the base you have to slide this from the bottom. It doesn't work trying to slide it from the top down. Now what I really do appreciate and was not expecting from the base is that it swivels. And it almost offers 360 degrees. So if we go to one extreme end, like that, go all the way around, you could almost turn your monitor completely around. So if you have a client at your desk and you need to show them what you're looking at, you can actually do that here with this monitor with relative ease. On top of its swivel capabilities, this monitor also tilts in different directions. So let's just get this into the right position. And we can see that it does have a positive tilt and that is roughly 22 degrees. And if we return this to neutral, the negative tilt, the downward tilt, looks like this. That's as much as you're going to get, and that is roughly five degrees downward. But the monitor also lifts up. Let's return this back to neutral. That's about as high as it's going to get. But one feature that I think creatives are going to like, and anyone who has to deal with long documents or maybe Excel sheets, uh, is that it does have a portrait mode. Taking a look at the back, we can see the various connections offered. And starting on the bottom, we have the DisplayPort, DVI, HDMI, VGA, audio, and headphone jack. There's also a Kensington lock option here on the back. I guess if you're at a LAN party, that will help keep your monitor from growing legs and walking away with one of your friends. The L238DPH monitor also offers a 178 degree viewing angle, so let's take a look at what that looks like. The controls for the on-screen display are located here on the bottom of the monitor and the buttons are actually located on the back so you do have to reach around just a little bit. But I appreciate that the controls are located here rather than on the right side where a lot of gaming monitors are situating the buttons now. And I appreciate that because for multi-monitor setups it's difficult to get to these controls when this monitor is on the left of your main monitor. Let's step through the on-screen display options for just a moment. All right, and that is the on-screen display. The monitor does come with two 1.5 watt speakers and they are located in the rear of the monitor firing upward, I believe. Now, I would never suggest or recommend that you rely on built-in monitor speakers as your main 
output, but if you're in a pinch, here's what they sound like when you're sitting in front of the monitor. Great companion device to have with me at the screening. This is a 256 gigabyte device, but it does have the 12 gigabytes that you'd normally find on the Note 10 Plus. And today I'd like to unbox it. And that was V7's L238 DPH monitor. I think it is an all around solid performer and would find a happy home at the office or even in your home office. So if you would like to learn more about this product, I will leave a link in the description below. The next product I wanna talk about is kind of a companion piece to this monitor. This is V7's privacy filter, uh, which is in the 16-9 aspect ratio, but made specifically for 23.8 inch screens. So this would fit perfectly on this monitor. Now, I've never been one to use a privacy filter or a shield or a screen on my monitors. However, I was on a business trip recently, sitting with my coworker on a plane and the, the flight did offer in-flight movies. And so I picked something I hadn't seen before, which is the, um, the newish Blade Runner movie. I think it's called Blade Runner 2049. Please correct me if I have that wrong. In any event, since I hadn't seen the film before, I had no idea what to expect as far as content goes. And lo and behold, there was some nudity. And so luckily for me, this plane had built in privacy shields on the screens. And so people to my left and my right couldn't see what I was watching. And so it really drove home the importance of this kind of product, this kind of technology and installing it on screens where you want to protect your data, you want to just work privately, um, you want to make sure that the things that you're doing that you don't need to, to share with the rest of the world aren't being shared. So this, uh, this screen, it uh, does look like it, it says it's going to limit, limit the viewing angle. Let's see if we can get that here limit the viewing angle to uh, 30 degrees in front of uh, in front of the user so let's get this installed and and see what that looks like with the privacy filter installed let's see what the viewing angles look like now That is a dramatic difference, I have to say. And that was the V7L238 DPH monitor as well as the V7 privacy filter. So let me know what you think. Are these products right for you? I'd love to read your comments below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.